We're eating ramen. Ooh, ramen. Ooh. Can't see it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, freaking noodle slurping sounds. Mmm. Wow. That was a lot of people coming in fast. Um, all right. So, uh, eat your ramen. We're playing with the bridge. Um, we ran the first test of the bridge. Uh, so for you guys that don't know, here is the test of the bridge sale. The bridge sale is now empty. Actually, we can look at this hopefully in the Better Block Explorer and see the transaction uh, submitted to it. We did the first test bridge. We bridged over Devi. Um, you guys might know Devi as a bunch of haters, uh, and they are haters, but it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're not. We're not here to hate on haters. We are just here to talk about how the bridge works. Okay. So we launched the bridge, and the bridge is great. RPC Devi.org. Uh, you see they have, that's a sad hash rate, but, um, and then if you send your Debbie to the Doobie address, so the Doobie address just burns it. And you can see that we've sent 26,000 Debbie to the Doobie address. You'll be able to claim that over on the cheap ETH chain. Oh no, is this block explorer down? Yo, cheap swap, fix your block explorer. Block explorers are kind of hard to keep up. You doobie, you smoke it in the doobie. And then you deliver it to the bridge sale. So we'll do a quick walk through what the code is that actually makes this work. Um, it's completely decentralized. So there's no like only owners on the contract. Um, I wrote this while I was in LA hanging out with Optimism. Uh, and you guys can see contracts bridge. So this is the bridge contract and this is the bridge sale contract. Um, so the bridge contract basically stores all the blocks um, from a proof of work chain. So this is a really the bridge proof of work. You guys saw me playing with this in previous streams, but it's all 100% working right now. Mmm, long. Mmm. That's delicious ramen. No, I didn't. I didn't fix any optimism stuff. I, I've optimism. I think has a ways to go to be good. Um, so I've just been working on cheap ETH. Uh, mm, mm. Mm. What do I think of Cruise acquiring Voyage? Yo. You guys know about forest fires? Maybe you can think of Cruise like a forest fire. And when the forest fire comes and it burns down Encinitas, you could say that the forest fire burned down Encinitas. But the thing about forest fires is they don't really add value. Right? You're not going to have a forest fire that lasts for a hundred years. There's a lot of people who are like, you know, the forest fire works as long as it has fuel. But eventually the fuel, aka the capital being injected into crews, runs out. And it's a great fire, and it was a great fire while it lasted. Some fires even have names, like, you know, the Chicago fire. Ralph. Well, who's Ralph? That's well, just a fire I knew once. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. Um, yo, wait, I'm gonna do a one. One quick shill for comma because I'm super happy about this. Um, if you guys were thinking of buying a comma two, uh, the new price is gonna be 10.99. We're raising the price. Think about it, think about it, think about it, right? When you bought a comma two a year ago, if you bought a comma two a year ago, it's not as good as the Comet 2 you buy now because the software has gotten so much better. But we give the software away for free. So like, you know, there should be a way to capture, like, 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 
you shouldn't be paying the same price for a worse product if it's better, you know. I think the price has to go up. Um, so yeah, the new price of the Comma 2 is going to be uh, $10.99. Uh, no, followers and subs don't get shit. Um, except my love and admiration. If you're a sub. If you're a follower, I don't care. No. You know that star means you're a better person. Um, so yeah, the prices of the Comma 2 is going to go up from $9.99 to uh, $10.99. And this will just be the first of many uh, price increases. We have a full-time person now working on the prices go up team. Uh, so yeah. Um, you see, that's the difference between Comma and Cruise. Comma makes money and Cruise loses money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have to understand. Cruz is trying to build. Yeah, funny. Simple. You want to tell if a business is good for the world? Does it make money or does it lose money? Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Eating ramen. Uh, no, we don't have a business development team. We do have a prices go up team. Right. So there's two contracts basically: the bridge and the bridge sale. The bridge sale. The bridge tracks the state. Okay. Maybe we should write some. Uh... I do like Optimism does a good job with their uh, documentation on their contracts. So there's good things to steal. We can see what we can steal. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm bullish on optimism long term, short term. Uh, I think they have some stuff they got to work out. For example, like if you go on L2 optimism, you can't, um, you can't click send on MetaMask. So if you go on cheap, it's L2. Um, so also, you guys know that we have a launched version of Optimism, courtesy of the last stream. It's called Cheap Optimism. You can see have people been using it. Oh, someone submitted a cheap block today. IQ 100, perfect score, bro. Um, so let's, uh, let's write a little documentation. Uh, let's move that up there. Title. Uh, Bridge. I uh, was gonna say proof of work contract. Um, dev. The bridge tracks and verifies What's the state of a proof of work Ethereum. That's even nice. <coughs> All right, now we have the bridge sale. I'm gonna just title is bridge. Uh, bridge sale, dev, the bridge sale uh, uses the state from a bridge to validate uh, send transactions on the on the bridged chain. It's a little long. Okay, so we have the bridge sale and the bridge. What we're going to do in this stream is if you notice, if you read the documentation here for the bridge, it verifies the state of a proof of work Ethereum chain. Now, there's a lot of Ethereum chains that are not proof of work, like Binance Smart Chain. The beauty of bridging to Binance Smart Chain is it's cheap. Like if you bridge to mainnet Ethereum, it's 20 bucks to send a transaction. But if we look here, I have a little Binance Smart Chain in one of my uh, in one of my accounts. Smart Chain, here we go. There we go. Look, 
I have 0 0.0295 BNB. Oh, and I also have some of my things in purgatory because I tried to use any chain. But can I edit this? Oh, that'd be cool. Give me 1 million BNB. Uh, but we have Binance Smart Chain. But the thing about Binance Smart Chain is, yeah, it's not a proof of work chain. So this bridge isn't going to work. We're going to write the Binance Smart Bridge today. Um, we'll call it Bridge Binance. And it should implement the same. We should actually probably write, uh, as much as I hate them, we should probably write a uh, an interface for the bridge. So what do I actually call here on the bridge? Is header stored get block by number? That seems right. Is block just required a parameter or is that a... I also want to parameterize that 100. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Please stay on topic. We're writing the Binance Smart Bridge today. I want to hear about Jungian bullshit philosophy is for losers who can't code. Um, you know, some philosophy is okay, but like, one time, I was, uh, first time in my life I took acid, went to Big Sur. We're camping in Big Sur, and you know, I wanted to talk about like the stars, like whether the universe is analog or digital or not. And this guy I was with was like, yo, that shit's all bullshit, why do you want to talk about that? And I was like, damn bro, you're right! And then, that's why it's bullshit. I mean, it's okay to think about sometimes, but like you're not gonna find any deep insights into the world. If you wanna find deep insights into the world, study math and computer science. And then you'll know a real thing. You know, no matter how much, uh, what's the word, what's the word? Um, party, party figures, people sympathetic to the party, party agents, apparatchiks, uh, infiltrate, um, literature. It's very hard for apparatchiks to infiltrate math. Math is always uh, real, so you can believe in math. Um, so please stay on topic. We're building the Binance Smart Bridge. Speculators! Who's been speculating? Do we have to meditate? We're gonna drink some tea. We're gonna chill out. Uh, I don't own any geopogs. I'm not, none of this is, I think I bought one, but you know, none of that has to do with me. This is other people building uh, on top of cheap ETH. Uh, can you get a quick rundown on uh, ETH L2 scaling? So this is the best cheap uh, L2 solution after Binance Smart Chain and XDAI, which are also great solutions, but XDAI is a little shady and cheap and Binance Smart Chain is a little centralized. So if you don't like centralized, or like confused or like impossible to audit, go with cheap ETH. It's the number one L2 solution on Ethereum after the number one tip. Gotta get some tea, boys. Get some tea, we gotta chill out. I'll take the chip. Oh man, I'm really amped up this morning. I'm really amped up, I ate ramen. Cheap ETH is the number one 
Ethereum L2 solution after number one and number two, which Binance Smart Chain. You guys know Binance? Okay, we got it. We got to chill. Calm, relax. Calm, relax. So, if we look at the Binance Smart Chain. to it for a minute. Go over here, bring up a node. Um, my bridge sale is so crappy too. This computer's crashed a few times. We have Web3, now we can bring up the Web3 of Binance. Now, remember, Binance Smart Chain is a proof of authority chain. So we're not gonna be validating the difficulty of, or the hash of the blocks. We're gonna validate that it was signed by the correct authority figure. Uh, so what can I say? W3.eth.getBlockLatest. Yo, I'm learning JavaScript, boys. So that mad JavaScript skill, right? Notice how I just whipped out the van. I know what a promise is now. I know what a promise is. Um, so this extra data contains the signature. And it's what we're going to need to validate. Very similar. I think it's actually going to use this same bridge. Um, do I call and use Debbie anywhere else? No. So if you want to bridge to Debbie, it's that. Did I put that in the reading? I did not. Even though it was a Debbie bridge sale. I must have done it on this computer. Yeah, network equals Debbie. I'm just gonna add that to the readme because the readme's wrong right now. Oh, that's the bridge sale. Oh, that deploys the sale, I see. JavaScript or LSF? Uh, we're going to call it Binance. And I don't need a bomb delay from parents. Genesis block stuff's gonna work the same. Um, okay, so we need to write a contract that's kind of like this one, but it's gonna be a little bit different.
has a mixed hash and a nonce, but we don't care about it. What do we care about here? It really might just be nothing. So what are the two? There's two methods that the sale has to call. It calls is header stored block hash, which actually, do we even need that? Huh. No, I think actually I'm gonna change that to just be get block my number. And then, yeah, let's, let's, let's fire up the tests to make sure the tests keep passing. I wrote pretty good tests for this. We'll have to write some tests for the Binance Smart Bridge too. Maybe we'll do some test-driven development. So notice how all the tests pass now. Instead of saying bridge is header stored, let's just say require hash equals block hash, right? Get rid of that and say um, block hash didn't match uh, block for a number. That's even a better check, I think. I should have started just by writing the tests. But you can't see. Uh, you know, so punk rock one on one. That's just what I was thinking of now. All right, cool. So that change works. Stupid, contagious, to be broken, famous, can someone please save us from Punk Rock 101? to sleep in the cold and live in our world play and live in your world play in ours playstation right. we have the bridge binance contract um gonna need to implement that Depth is 
fine. Can the Binance Smart Chain reorg? that we have to uh hmm. actually I need to need a header here Say probably bites that. Um, hmm. Do we want the same? Let's just do this. This might be all I need to do in the. Uh, Gonna be zero by default, which should be fine. Uh, all right, we're gonna need to decode block data. What do we actually care about? Um, it doesn't have uncles. I don't even understand what the difficulty means. Two. Too difficulty. Block number. I don't care about any of that. I guess I care about the timestamp. I don't care about any of that. I guess I do want it to have the same. Just waste so many bytes, you know? Where the stuff from the bridge sale? So I just get it from there. Cool. Okay, get blocked by number order just returns a hash and a depth, which is great. So I don't actually need any of that. Because it's all going to be proof of authority. We're going to validate in this extra data. So what do I need here? I need the block number, um, timestamp, let me just see, RLP. Oh, you know what? I have it. Let me just read the library code. It's right in there. What are you guys talking about? Pay attention. Increased font size would help. You know what would help? You being banned. No, that was harsh. That was harsh. That was too harsh. Can you guys not see? Um, are really the only two things I care about in here block number and the extra data. Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't actually know how to check the signature of a Binance smart block. And probably I should prototype this in Python or JavaScript before I just write it in Solidity, but you know, you know we're just writing it in Solidity. Uh, all right, internal pure returns, let's say uint block number, comma, bytes, memory, extra data. All right, when we submit, we're gonna wanna call the code block data on RLP header, uint block number, bytes, extra data, Block number, comma, extra data equals code block data. Let's test that. Turn the test and see what we have. Unexpected trailing comma. Let's see if we have a problem. Uh, I'm not going to build that struct. We should actually be able to even just say this, right? Probably need to say that's in memory. Expected, but got, do I need, is this the syntax for solidity? I'm guessing it's syntax. Oh, of course, I didn't put a memory there. Compiles. Mm, the shadow declaration is here. What does that mean? And I guess I see clearly that I misspelled block number. Do I not? So much for typing up the M1 chip all the time. Let's see what I lost. Computer kernel panicked. Mm, function state mutability. No, that can't actually be pure. It's only pure now. Okay. We have to go over to the test. Finance test bridge. We're going to need a layer. Yeah. Deployment works and therefore that works. We can throw a console.log block number in here. We can confirm I'm expecting to see 553 kind of crap. Yeah, 553. Okay, cool. So that worked. Uh, now we need to validate the extra data, and this is going to require some research. Finance, smart chain. Let's read about Binance Smart Chain. Wait a few blocks to confirm. Blocking time should be short. No inflation. As much as compatible with Ethereum, with staking and governing as powerful as Cosmos. Is cheap ETH in Binance? Well, once we make the bridge work from the Binance Smart Chain, it's going to be very easy to turn your, your Binance Smart Chains into cheap ETHs. Well, I mean, this is all just dancing around the actual hard problem of the chain. So we have chains that work, we have, we have bridges now that work really well to go from, uh, I mean, you guys saw the Devi thing, it worked really well. Uh, 
So we can do it now from the main chain. But I think we should go from the Binance smart chain. Um, me and my friend Goku were behind Cheapy. Basically, what I said to him was like, bro, I can't deal with the people. Like, I'm not, I'm not talking in the Discord. I'm not dealing with, like, you know, just the bullshit. Uh, so I told Goku to do it, and I told him to be absolutely ruthless and brutal. Like, you know, he's, he's, always, he's always concerned. He's concerned with their haters. They're like, George, but, like, you know, what are people going to, you know, what do people think that, like, you're associated with a scam? And I'm like, fuck that, man. Haters are going to think whatever haters are going to think, you know? can't live your life based on haters you gotta live your life based on you know just not dealing with bullshit and that's what goku's in charge of he's a chief bullshit officer a cheap um he's a smart guy too young uh No, no, just like, um, Goku told me about this one guy. Oh, cheapy. No, he's just like, whoa, I mentioned it and got banned. Even Wikipedia is already talking about this. Oh, fuck, I used to have respect for this guy. Oh, man, yeah, oh, you, oh, you don't respect me. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, no, but you got to realize that respect is not about a person. Respect is about skill, right? You shouldn't respect a person. I'm a fucking asshole, you know? Everybody is. There's two types of people in the world. There's assholes and hypocrites, and I'm not a hypocrite, you know? Um, but what you should have respect for isn't people. And people, oh my God. Oh, no, this is this is too real if I go into what happened yesterday. It's like... I don't, like, 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 these people think that I, like, care about myself. Like, oh, George Hotz, George Hotz. I don't give a shit, man. Like, that doesn't matter to me. What, do, do I look like the kind of person who's trying to build a brand? Oh, yeah, the George Hotz brand. The George Hotz brand is full of scams, getting hacked, and bullshit. And that's a good brand, but it's also full of skill. Right? But the thing about skill is it's not like skill isn't like reputation, right? Reputation is, you know, just do whatever you're going to do when you have a reputation and that's what you're going to do. You know, a good predictor of someone's behavior is their past behavior, but skill you can demonstrate. And you always got to be showing skill. You always got to be one-upping other people's skills. Like that's, that's real, right? If only all this, 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 this crap was like about skill. Imagine the whole self-driving cars, instead of being about, like, bullshit, was about skill. Was about companies trying to one-up each other with cool demos, right? It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's Elon and little old me out here, you know? And, like, GM with Super Cruise, but they're not cool about it, right? Like, imagine it was just, you know, people trying to one-up each other. Blue Origin and SpaceX, like, that's what we want to see in the world, Oh, Twitch streamers offended, get offended, oh, work on your personal fucking brand, losers, you know? Oh, well, that would violate my brand narrative. It's my brand narrative, man. Slurping ramen and drinking tea. That's right. Mm. Sounds like you're insecure. What do you mean by that? No, 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 no. Should I engage with the haters or should we work on the shit? Uh, no, like, it's let me explain what it really is, right? If, if, you have, if you have a reputation, that's something that people will always be able to hold over your head, right? That's something that they'll always, that's a, that's a vulnerability. That's something that people are always going to be able to threaten you with, right? If you're somebody like Oprah, like Oprah could never run for, for, for office. Because if Oprah ran for office, you know, you'd find out all these like bad things about Oprah. She's someone who has like a nice image. This is why Martha Stewart and the insider trading thing was such a big deal, right? Like Martha Stewart is this homely lady who like bakes cookies on Sundays for, for nice people, right? Like, you know, if I went to jail for insider trading, you'd be like, yo, right? Imagine Kanye West went to jail for insider trading. You'd be like, yo, when Lil Wayne goes to jail for having a gun, nobody's like, wow. I never expected that from such a straight up 
uh, you know, honorable man like Dwayne the Carter III. No, no, and that's what I mean by this, right? It really is a vulnerability. Um, whereas having skill, you know, you can never have too much skill, right? Tell them I sold out. Tell them, uh, you know, what, what is it? What, tell them, uh, you know, tell them Travis smokes more crack than Tyrone Biggums does. Tell them I sold out. Tell them I do drugs. Make me more insecure than I already am. Make me out to be an asshole who don't deserve his fans. Make me more insecure than I already am. Kick dirt on my accomplishments. If you're ever bored, just document it well and don't forget to hit record. One hit wonder my ass, what are you talking about? Let him keep blogging trash, I'ma take the garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, hopefully, hopefully y'all uh, y'all get what I'm saying. Hmm. No, that's, uh, that's, that's Gym Quest Heroes before they fell off, you know? Um, it's not like the way Drake fell off, right? Like, I don't think Gym Class Heroes sold out. Drake, Drake, just, just Drake likes, you know, oh, it's sad, it's sad. But beefing with Drake out, you know, think about beefing with Drake out. It's like, you know, making fun of YouTubers. But YouTubers are mostly self-aware. Like, when PewDiePie's like, this is meme review. This isn't, this isn't, you know, Playthrough Sunday or whatever the other shows on this channel were. And the idea that you can have shows on a channel, it's just, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I, I think they're self-aware. Um, reputation, oh, opportunities. Yo, every single person who emails into comma asking if we have any opportunities available, like I could just make an email filter on the word opportunity and send it to spam and I'd never miss anything. There's no such thing as opportunity, right? Opportunity comes from this, this, this old era of like, yes, maybe there was opportunity in the 70s and you had these phrases like, when opportunity knocks, answer. Now it's so gamified that it's not, there's no opportunity. What do you mean? Life's an opportunity. Opportunity is everywhere. It's yours to make it, you know? No one's going to give you an opportunity, right? You just go, oh, wow, that's... Wow, I should listen to Tony Robbins, man. You know, I hear that guy, man. Tony Robbins, I hear he's doing like, uh, uh, you know, you got like the VIP in the conference. You can like go to the VIP reception with Tony. I got to look more into that. Guy. Oh, these people asked me to be on their podcast. I'm going to shout them out because I like their aesthetic. And we're gonna listen to some of these and then decide whether I should go on their podcast. But I like their aesthetic. They, they, it seems like, you know, I, the, 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 the scary Uncle Ted, their first one's about the Unabomber. So, you know, we, we, we just gotta say, like, look, I like their, like, look at that. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful little suburban and a briar patch observatory. I, I like it. Yo, don't be like, oh, but they're actually, you know, all right, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But, I mean, they do say words like cultural Marxism. Which, like, there's intelligent ways to talk about, and there's also conspiratorial ways to talk about. So we'll have to figure out which one they are. Um, like, you know, I, I, I hate the, I hate the right-wing conspiracy stuff as much as I hate the social justice warriors. Um, if people want to talk intelligently about, like, you know, uh, class divides and social justice, I'm interested. Just most of the discourse is so low quality. And if people want to talk intelligently about, like, you know, the deep state and conspiracy theories, I'm interested, but most of the discourse is, again, so low quality, right? Uh, so we like quality, we like skill, these are things we like. And reputation is a scam, man. Why don't you turn your reputation to a token and then people can buy and sell it based on your reputation, man? It's called social tokens. <laughs> You know, I'm up for any, you know, they ask me, they ask me that on a reason. They're like, what are your political views? And like, I'm up for any kind of politics as long as you speak about it intelligently and like, don't get offended, you know? Everything from like communism to Nazism, like if you speak intelligently about it, but like, you know, be aware if you like say you're a Nazi, you know, and I say like, bro, you know, like Hitler died and everyone thinks Nazis suck, right? 
if you get offended, then, you know, you're a shitty Nazi. But if you have, like, a good way to, like, talk about that, then, you know, I'll, it's something at least, right? If, if you have, like, if you're like, oh, I'm a communist and be like, yo, you know, Stalin killed 50 million people and, like, you don't have any good comeback to that, then you're a shitty communist. But, like, if you got some, like, you know, new takes on communism, like, I'll, I'll listen to you. I mean, I still think the commies and the Nazis are stupid, but, like, you can change my mind, man, with the right argument. That's what rationality is all about, being open-minded to a good argument. Now, to be fair, there's some things, like the earth being round, this, like, you know, your YouTube videos are really well edited and that one's like a, that one's like a good bellwether, right? Because like if you really start believing the earth is flat, all right, all right, too far. Um, too far down stupid rabbit holes. You know, that's that's the world today. Stupid rabbit holes. The whole world's full of Pokemon. This is on topic. No, it's not on topic. You're right. Keep me on topic. That's right. No, you know, it's just a long rant against haters, and we gotta, you know, talk, uh, okay. It's a watcher of validators chains. Wait, so how do I figure out who the validators are? Huh. BSC scan. This is cute. That's a lot of BNB. <laughs> Pokemon stands are <laughs> No, I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon. She's cool. If you're ever in LA, you want to hang out, I'm down. Validator Everest. Ray, thank you for gifting subs. If you'd like to ask a question, if you give subs, you can ask a question. Week has smaller blogging times. Four. Hmm. Why are there so many angry people? It's a good question. I think social media maybe makes people angry. Or maybe it's because the machines are taking over. And everyone's kind of aware of that. It's a loss of status and power. To the machines. I mean, just imagine you spent your whole life like... Wow, I mean, there's some shit that's too real here. Like, you spent your whole life learning to play chess. And then the machine showed up. I don't know. I mean, that's happened to people. We could ask them. We could see how they feel about that. We'd have to get the truth. Not the politically correct man. We'd have to get the truth. Wow. Geofog, thank you for gifting subs. Do you have a question? Here's my question. Can you talk more about thinking about frameworks? Oh, like frameworks to think about stuff? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I listed the good ones. I don't know. It's not like I have more. Uh, like, I, I talked about it a little. I, I wrote a new blog post. I talked about it a little. It's, it's really poorly written. 
um, but the AI control problem. Um, so you think about uh, rationality and like uh, neo reaction. And they're both concerned. I mean, my understanding is neo reaction is, is a spin off of, of rationality, and that the AI control problem um, is really what gave rise to rationality. Uh, and then there's two ways to look at the AI control problem, right? You can look at the AI control problem as a technical problem, or you can look at it as a problem of power. Uh, and for a long time, I only understood, I guess, rationality implicitly and then rationality explicitly. But there is kind of a world of power out there and like you decide how you interact with it. Um, if you choose to interact with power in the way power wants you to, you're giving power the upper hand already. Um, if you choose to combat power, you're useful to power as well. Uh, so just to think about that, to think about, you know, where is the power and how to kind of uh, act accordingly, right? And I don't just mean powers and governmental power. I mean, that's one kind of power, but there's also technological power, uh, you know, rhetorical power. Maybe that is what... Uh, I kind of have this theory that that's what um, the humanities are supposed to study. But sometime before I was born, they seriously nerfed the humanities because they don't want anybody thinking about power. Um, maybe that's conspiracy theory. Whoa, cheap roulette. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Connect MetaMask. Connect. <coughs> Wait, I connected to Cheap ETH Network, right? That seems good. How do I bet? Oh, here we go, bet. Bet on five, seven, let's bet on red, let's bet on odd, all right, let's go. Well, I just sent a lot of transactions. How come there's no animation of the wheel spinning? Oh, and I guess it didn't let me bet on five twice. Let's see the block explorer. Which one? No, this one's taking forever to load. Yo, I clicked spin wheel, boys. It says time until next spin. It's counting down. I'll click it again. No, I'm pretty sure I already get it, but I'll do it again, why not? It's cheap. The last thing I ever want to talk about is Donald Trump. The greatest thing about Biden winning the election is I've heard the name Trump less. I'm not even making a judgment on whether he's good or bad. I just, you know, I'm sick of hearing about it. Uh, all right, did I win? I wanna know if I won. Oh, oh it's spinning, it's spinning! I won two. I think I bet five, that's not great. Oh, I should have been on 14. That would have been the move, you know? <laughs> Yo, this thing is great. <laughs> Get it on GB through the lab. Yo, submit a pull request to GitHub. I'll put it on the website. <laughs> I love GB through the lab. <laughs> I appreciate that you only put in one zero and you're not trying to scam. <laughs> oh, PR is on website. Oh, Martin, let me merge it. Roulette. Woo. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is exactly what cheap means meant to be. A party.
And there's definitely roulette at the party. Should it be at the party? That's the other thing, too. And I'll say this so you guys, like, don't. Like, it's the same way I feel about this this channel, right? You know, the comma Discord, the cheap ETH Discord, this Twitch channel, these things are parties, right? Um, They're not communities. There's a community aspect to it, but they're parties, right? And the parties are being thrown by people. The Kama AI Discord is a party being thrown by Kama. The Cheap ETH Discord is a party being thrown by Goku. This channel is a party being thrown by me, right? And if you come in here and you complain about how my party doesn't have enough lobster, maybe I'll, uh, you know, say like, well, I didn't get any more lobster. And then if you say, well, I want to go to a party with more lobster, I say, okay, get out of my party, right? Like, like, it's not a, it's not a, it's not, there's no voting. You have no power, right? And this comes back to power, right? Like, the, this is not, it's not like, like, like if all my party guests decided they wanted lobster, right? Like, maybe I'd listen if it's a legitimate complaint, but if they just demanded lobster, I'd be like, yo, get the fuck out of my party, right? <laughs> 12, 26, you think I'm drunk? Today we're making feta cheesy Alfredo. You can get lobster because you're a subscriber. <laughs> subscriber only lobster. But like, my point is we're all here to have a good time. And that's really what the vibe is for. If you ask for lobster in a funny way, I'm interested. Let's go with this vibe. If you're here to demand things, like, woo, woo, woo. It's not energy I want. It's bad energy. It's small dick energy, right? I want big dick energy, right? Can I say that on Twitch? <laughs> look at this. Should I look at this? You're a subscriber, so I'll click your link. Twitch has added... Oh, a brand safety score. Oh, wow. You know, I heard about the Chinese social score. Hey, you know what, guys? If Twitch kicks me off, always... Geohot.com is the closest thing to something I control. So, you know, just check here if everything kicks me off. I think so. I'm not really a very controversial person, but, like, yeah, who knows? He's two pills away from the schizo. I'll allow that comment. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's write some code. Look, we already wrote 34 lines today. That's a lot of lines. All right, get blocked by number. This is an easy function to write. We're just gonna return headers sub block number. Uh, we're also gonna require that. Let's just, you know what? transaction to be reverted, but it wasn't reverted. Oh, well, that's not good. Wait, why is it printing that? 
Where does he even compile? What's it doing this stuff? Different number of art. Oh, uh, we want to return the rat, and then we want to return the depth, the largest block number minus block number. Hmm. I do want to check that they're like in a chain though. We'll see. Block because we're not submitting the Genesis block. Okay. Uh, we still need to do the check. Uh, oh, what? Actually, just work already. If we don't actually care about validating the block, which is obviously really stupid and ruins everything the bridge is meant to do, but that should work. What has to compile all the files every time? Great. Cool. Uh, why the depth so low? Oh, because we didn't actually write the thing that saves largest block number. If block number greater than largest block number. You know, I guess I'll say another thing about the reputation thing. If you're taking actions because of your reputation, that's what I have the problem with, right? Like, I shouldn't do that because, like, you should do whatever is you. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be concerned about what other people think, and that's where I think the problem becomes. Like... Of course, everyone wants, there's nothing wrong with wanting a good reputation for doing good things. I think people want to do good things. But the problem comes in when it's not you doing good things, it's you projecting the appearance that you do good things, right? Just do good things. Just do good things in the tr and trust that the world will judge you appropriately. And if they don't, it's the world's problem, it's not yours, right? Now, I know you got to be really careful when you say like things are the world's problem and not your problem, because if you're trying to use it to leverage something, like, of course, it's your problem. But what I'm saying is never use it to leverage anything, right? Like you just be a person, be you, do what you want. 
and like you know let the chips fall where they may like in cheap roulette I have to concern myself with others because others concern themselves with it. And sadly, I don't have an independence from society. I don't have an independence from society either. You know, look, you think I made that tea? No, someone else grew the tea. But they're gonna keep selling you tea. And then if they decide one day that, fuck that guy, we're not gonna sell him tea or give him food anymore, we're gonna, we're gonna blacklist him from everything in society, then I die. Right? Like, I'd rather die with, 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 you know, integrity than, 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 you know, live on as a sellout, right? I think that's a common theme on this stream. Then I die. Fuck it, man. You know? <laughs> oh my God. But like, the problem with this stuff is then people use it to be a shitty person. They use it as an excuse to be a shitty person. Like if the only thing that stops you from being a shitty person is because you're concerned that what other people will think about you, then you're already a shitty person. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, you know, you gotta just, you know, have a set of morals. Like morals are cool, ethics are a scam. Ethics are other people shoving their morality down your throat. Like, you know, you can kill people. You just gotta like be okay with that, right? Like, like, like you don't like, you know, it's as long as that's good within your morality. Personal integrity is key. The only guy I answer to is to myself. I'm pretty hard on myself. Um, the ice will crack even though others are turned off. <laughs> I mean, let's talk about you smoking crack, right? Like, like when you're lying in bed at night, are you happy with your identity as a crack smoker? And if you are, more power to you, right? But if you're like, you know, if you don't like that aspect about yourself, change it. But it's only you that you answer to. You know, it's just as bad the person who like, you know, doesn't smoke crack but wants to because they're concerned about what society would say. Oh. <sighs> I've never smoked crack. My friend smoked crack, and he described it as basically as like, yo, it was actually a terrible three minutes. But after the three minutes, I wanted to do it again. So that's what I've heard crack is like. <laughs> I don't think crack lasts very long, right? No, no, no. Cocaine sucks. You know, the problem with cocaine is like you think you're cool, but then like watch the other people who do it when you're sober and you just look just like them. So like if you like the way they look and you're like, that's how I want to act, by all means. But, you know, cocaine is great. Don't be a hater. No, fuck cocaine. Fuck Xanax. Fuck Molly. That's right. Don't do those jokes. <laughs> Hunter Biden smokes crack and he's a globally renowned energy expert sought for his advice. I mean, some, some things like that are just too fun. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, wait. Like, can, we, can we just break down for a minute why that's funny? Like, it's funny because, you know, is that really the narrative that, that this state thinks you're stupid enough to believe? <laughs> but like, they should have just been honest about that, you know? Yo, my son's a crackhead, so I got him a job. <laughs> You've just been honest about it. Um... Politics is a meme, yeah, yeah, but you can't, oh, okay, fuck, <laughs> the only reason I even know about that is because the Twitter censored the New York Post, and it made me hate Twitter even more, that is why I don't tweet, 
First the New York, first they came for the New York Post, first they came for Alex Jones, then they came for the New York Post, and then they came for you. Legal Legends, not even once. I, play, I think I played Legal Legends on stream once. Okay, um, so this works. Buy me on the bridge. Wait. Really? Is this decentralized? Oh. Oh, you don't like that my IP is that. Ugh. Hey, US government. Hey, 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 feds. If you're watching right now, I want you to read the rest of this list of countries, right? All right. Albania, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Cuba, Iran, Iraq, North Korea, Sudan, Syria, and Zimbabwe. Is that who you want to be associated with as a country? Like, like SEC, that's what you're doing right now. When you make Binance put that up, you're associating the United States of America with these countries, right? Is that really what you want to do? Think about it, feds. Think about it. Uh, so we can't use the Binance Smart Chain Bridge. And that's why we're building our own bridge. The Bridge of Freedom. Decentralized Freedom Bridge. Indonesia's a nice place. Myanmar. I don't know. I've never been there. What's wrong with those countries? <laughs> I mean, nothing's wrong with them, but like, if you were like, hey, do you want to move to, uh, do you want to move to the Netherlands? I'll think about it. Do you want to move to Japan? I'll think about it. Do you want to move to Indonesia? I'll think about it. Do you want to move to Congo? No. Do you want to move to Iraq? No. Do you want to move to Zimbabwe? No. Right? And that's what I mean. The more times they put Democratic peoples and Republic in their country, the less legitimate their country is. China is the People's Republic of China. Taiwan is the Republic of China. Uh, South Korea is the Republic of Korea. Uh, North Korea is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They put three of them in there to just remind you really how Democratic peoples and Republic they were. Ireland, I moved to Ireland. Ireland sounds like a nice place. I've been there, beautiful place, beautiful country, nice green grass. The <laughs> United States is united. <laughs> hey man, we had a war and we proved that it was united. Republic of Ireland traitors to the Queen. Well, I'm not even gonna go there. I don't want some. I don't understand what upsets like the the IRA, whatever it is. I'm not on anybody's side. I'm a neutral observer. I just want to drink Guinness and party, man. That's me. What is Russia's official name? Just Russia. Oh, see, don't add yourself to that list, man. Join the future. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Russia Fe oh, Federation. Oh, well, that's, that's very Star Trekian of them. Um, hmm. Wait, Gnosis? It's cool. I've never set up a multi-sig. Can 
consensus engine will update validator set from BSC validator set contract. Oh my God, okay. It seems like what I'm actually gonna have to do is send the validator set in the Genesis block. Okay, and then what we're gonna have to do is update the validator set and we're gonna have to show that transaction. Every epoch block validator will query the validator set. Okay, we're gonna have to query the validator set. Let's go. Um, how do I do this? It's a contract, I assume, right? Eep call. Oh no, oh no, the 2%. Okay, it's better than the 1%. That's twice as good as the 1%. For viewers later, some guy said that isn't all the Bitcoin owned by 2%? Well, it's better than the 1%. Bitcoin, twice as good as fiat. Um, 10, 10 seconds, some negative feelings toward Paris. Not huge negative feelings, right? Like if you still, if you still ask me, like, do you want to live in Paris or do you want to live in Congo? You know, shit, I live in Portugal before I lived in Congo. Don't get me started on Portugal. <laughs> Take Congo, okay. <laughs> to be fair, let's 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 let's. Before I hate on Congo more, let's actually take a look. Urf, urf, that's a little, that's a little, uh, yeah. Mm, 0.48 GDP of Congo. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, Congo, eight times smaller economy than Amazon. I, I don't I don't really mean to hate on Congo. If like my neighbor's a big Congo shell, yo, I don't mean to offend you. I'm just trying to make, you know, I'd love it if Congo like, like, like got that human development index up to a good, like, you know, at least a 0.7. <laughs> yeah. Now this is if you guys don't know about the human development index, this is a pretty good like do I want to live in this country indicator, right? Um let's see. Let's see where we get to countries I wouldn't live in. All these seem great. All right, we get down there a little bit. I'm surprised Italy's so low. I mean, you know, I'd be a little afraid here, but like, yeah, it's still, you know, not terrible. Er, maybe that one's the cutoff. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Panama. If Panama has a 0.815, um, what's the lowest I've been to? Wait, Malaysia's that far down? Malaysia's mad nice. I have no idea why Malaysia's that far down. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just in rich people parts of Malaysia, but my experience with Malaysia was it's mad nice. Wow. That's interesting, too. Okay, so Malaysia's like above. I wonder what this tracks. I've been to Indonesia. Oh, I've been to Vietnam. That's still like pretty nice. Okay, maybe you gotta, okay. Maybe 0.7 was about right. I've never been to India. 
where is Mongolia? Okay, above point. Yeah, yeah. Point seven is a good cutoff. You want you want to be above medium. And then yeah, you get down to the poor Congo down here. Chad. <laughs> So what's the lowest one I've been to? I mean, I guess Vietnam. Vietnam's a great place to travel to, by the way. Where is, like, uh, Ethiopia? Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's, that's worse than I thought. Kenya? Better. Yeah. Huh. Iraq's not doing too bad. Can you go to Iraq? Can I book a flight? I mean, like, aside from Corona. Let's go to Iraq tomorrow. Huh. Hmm. Iraq's closed. Oh. COVID. And then you go to Baghdad, eh? Wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of connecting flights. It's calling me. This is Susie calling with the vehicle service department. We are calling about your vehicle's manufacturer's warranty. We sent you several notices in the mail oh. that you have yet to extend your warranty past the factory cutoff. And this invalid. Hi, this is Susie. Invalid sound prompt. Hi, this is Susie calling with the vehicle service department. We are calling about your vehicle. Do you think guys think this is important? Invalid sound prompt. Call rejected. What? Yo, I got hung up on by a telemarketer. I love talking to the telemarketers. All right, we got to get the, the the validator set. Okay. Oh, here we go. Good. They tell you straight up how to do this. Um, I'm doing 34 shows every day, and every time it's the same. Look at those hippos, they're wiggling their ears, just like they have for the last 50 years. Now I'm laughing my dumb jokes, but I'm dying inside, and I'm working on the Jungle Cruise ride. System, eh? BSC validator set contract. Oh my god. <laughs> you can get misdemeanors or felonies. <laughs> uh, should fetch validator set. Okay, how do I do this? Wait, this isn't right. I can't do that. That's, I'm on the wrong chain. I can't put that there. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get it here.
invalid and as such. Wow, you can put validators in jail. Update stay is same validator decode validator. Um, Web three finance smart chain get validators. This is not quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a quick stream. Nothing's ever fast. Uh, we inject. Oh, this is the Binance chain wallet. Wait, seriously? There's a problem with the Wi Fi. Oh my For God, that scared me. Oh my God, that scared me. Yo, yeah. mm, it's Apple, oh my God. <laughs> You're getting unplugged. Yo, man, that's what happens when AIs do that. <laughs> I got freaked out, man. <laughs> Just like the direction it came from, like who's here? This is, this is, focus. We have to get the set of the validators. And then, we have to get it at that block. Verify the signature of the coin base is an extra data of the block header. Compare the, oh good, okay. This tells me how to do it. The structure of extra data is 32 bytes of extra vanity. Known epoch block. Known? What's a known? see any extra vanity there. I guess that, that's a signature, I assume. Uh, so what I gotta do, I do easier cover. Some stuff that's just gonna help me. Where are your co no, this isn't the right any chain. Um, uh, 
any swap. That's it. Wow, look at how much stalker. Work of open Zeppelin contracts, not useful. Cross chain bridge using DCRM technology. Do you trust any of this? I can't believe I use this. Good thing I didn't put any real value into it. What is DCRM tech? That seems like something you like licensed weirdly. Before I hate, let's Google it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay, before we hate, let's figure out what it is. Just crush it, interoperability for a decentralized custodian model. It uses the latest. See, that's marketing copy, which is what turns me off to this. Four leading cryptographers, that's marketing copy, right? Like, like what turns me off to this is, is, why are you telling me that? Like, if it's good, you don't need that sentence. This is marketing copy that at least says something, but this here is proof of authority and proof of burn marketing copy. I don't know about any of this. Okay, maybe this is all crap. Um, I just, I'm hoping somebody's already written this for me, but maybe not. Uh, okay. What's that copy function? I use the other bridge. I don't like extract bytes 32 from that. I don't know how to do that well. It's solidity. Like I want to extract those things and I think that's a VR and S and I can easily recover that. And then we have to confirm that that person's in the validator set. Now we're going to have to track a lot more than this because we're going to have to track the whole chain because we're going to have to push updates to the validator set. Should be able to get that, right? Is there like just a getter so I can call it? There we go. Get validators. Seems nice. I'll figure out how to parse that later. Web3 ETH call get validators? So I have to like kek -ek that or something. Should have been on 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. 
the data first we need to figure out what we're calling so we're calling the BSC validator set and I assume this has the function get validators okay that looks like something no inputs well donut no, but where am I going to get a donut? Mm. <coughs> that doesn't work in JavaScript though, does it? I need like some other stupid crap that gets me the first four bytes. Junk. Yeah, get first four byte. Great JavaScript example. Get first four byte. How do I get first four byte? Why don't we include JavaScript code to do that? First four bytes. Array prototype slice. Okay, I don't know what an array. Does that work? Um, let's say const validator is equal. Probably have to await it, right? Who's ready to add and await? Oh, problem is pending. Oh, go down and await. Oh, don't forget to await. Didn't even work because I forgot. Hey. Oh, too many parentheses. And let's just add the await before I know because we're going to need it. Watch it not be. Watch call is synchronous for some reason. Web3.sha3 is not a function. Um, is wp.shop a function? It's not a function. What is it? Web3 shop 3. Web3 util shop. Oh, I forgot the util song. Did not work. Seven. No, it didn't work. Start to end represents the index of the items in the array. What? First index at which to start abstraction. Second element through the fourth element. That only gave me B7. That is four. Oh, I get it. You're returning a fucking string. Wow. You know, just just JavaScript. Just JavaScript things. Good. We got a set of validators. Beautiful.
isn't what we really want. We want to call at if that's possible. But I don't know if that's possible. Uh, what are the parameters to web3 eth call? Is one of them at? Can it be at? Please be at. I'm sure it's not at. Uh, oh. If you pass this parameter, it will not use the default block. Maybe this is going to work. Because we don't really want, we want the missing try node. Have to get the validators at the block. You get it? Invalid big number string. Oh, because we can't do bridge. I think actually that's just something, let's just pass that blindly. doesn't do that. That should work, right? Oh, for some reason, like, does it not call block? Is it like block underscore number? Just number. Yeah, let's do dot, I think. Who knows JavaScript? Not this guy. All right, cool. Uh, so let's pass in. We're gonna have to pass in. Let's just use their language. Got the hose using my phrases. address memory okay well oh it's just an array of addresses oh that's beautiful uh, cool so let's just make it take in an address memory here say address uh, what's it called consensus adders and then we will pass in the validators into the bridge Binance factory um, or you and we're going to just add validators I should be good to be normal um, Actually, I just want to copy the same. Uh, 
uh, where are they getting this from? Here, current validator set. What is that defined? Uh, let's do this, right? Valid value for array. Why? validators that doesn't work oh this is like wrapping something and I have to do like dot return no Is it not the same for some reason? Returns address memory. Like that should work, right? Because I'm taking in an address memory. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I think what we actually want to do is figure out how to get the eth call to parse these things, right? I don't want to write code to parse it. I could. Oh, it's just a decode, right? I can do this. It's going to like be like call like decode ABI or something. Decode ABI Web3. Here we go. Um, encode parameters, decode parameters. Ah! Do decode parameter. The type signature is address. shouldn't do it like that. Uh, do I need to use it? There we go. Cool. So those are being console log. Turns out none of that was the problem. So those consensus adders are actually coming from the contract. So those are the official validators of the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, are we printing the extra data here? It's going to be like, oh, you can't print that. It's a bytes memory. 
Um, no, so if that was the address, no, it can't be the address because it's not anywhere. All right, so I think what we have to do is we have to EC recover on that. And then we're going to get an address out. And then after we get that address out, we can see if it's in the validator set. If it's in the validator set, it's good. EC recover solidity example. ERS. Um, Verify the signature with Coinbase. Where's the thing that was telling you about what's in the extra data? What's a non epoch block? What's an epoch block? Non epoch block, I think that's. Hmm. For now, that period is 200. Ah. A block is called an. Whoa. Every epoch block will store the validator set mount message. Ah. Oh, this is cool. N times 20 bytes of validator address. The sign content is the kekak of. Wait, but what if, what if it's not an epoch block? You can only ask for things like that if you're a gifter. Oh, what about big gifter? Did big gifter ask a question and I missed it? I'm always afraid that I'm gonna miss questions from gifters. The signed content is the KECAC 256 of the RLP encoded block header. EC recover Binance Smart Chain. Doesn't even tell me who signed it. I assume it's EC recover. Let's figure out what EC recover really is. How do I obtain all the values necessary from this? I don't think that's this, but how do I get that in solidity? Thank you for telling me that it's very useful. Good guy, big gifter. Um, yo, people who are supporting go routines, don't. The world would be a better place if nobody was a simp. 
right? Don't be a simp. Hi, I'm entering this chat room looking for validation. And look, I understand if that's not your intention, but like looking for validation from other people is stupid because then your self-worth is based on how other people feel about you and then you'll end up buying into their Ponzi schemes. But if you build a self-worth based on skill and talent within you, you don't buy into their schemes. Yeah. yeah. No, but advice is stupid too. Advice and validation are really very similar, right? So so let's 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 actually let's go back to exactly what he said. All right. I think sorry not to rip on you, but like that's not advice that you're asking for there, right? Like, 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 read that carefully. If someone's looking for advice, there's two possible choices. Like, should I get a dog or should I not get a dog, right? And, you know, you can give someone advice on that. There's probably not good generic advice. But if there's one obvious answer, it's not advice they're looking for. It's validation, right? No, I think a lot more people, when they are asking for advice, at least that's what I've seen, they're looking for validation. Don't give people validation. Because if you give people validation, you are a simp. And don't be a simp. Is that what a simp is? I don't really know. A simp, a word everyone overuses without the correct definition. <laughs> a silly or foolish person. A simp provides validation. That's, that sounds right. That sounds right. That's what, kind of what I'm going for, right? Yeah, they call me out, bro. They call me out. They know what's up. Hey, at least I'm self-aware and looked it up, you know? I didn't just go with it. Sometimes I just go with it. Say words like ganache. And I don't really know what ganache means, but I see it right here. So, you know, he's got a lot of ganache. Oh, it's a one-to-one -one mixture of chocolate and warm cream. <laughs> Does ganache get hard? Uh, yeah, I don't really understand this. Well, there's also another problem, which is there's no way the signature of the block can include the extra data if the extra data is where the signature lives. Is that right? Oh, Ganache is the brother of Rasputin in Anastasia. Oh, that makes sense. Um, my client will engage in this for validation. Period. Follow the very bad spelling. Oh, and fill in the extra data field of block header. Full node will verify it against the validator set in contract. All right, so what are these epoch blocks? Every 200 blocks. Um, we could force it to go at, a, uh, at an epoch block. You guys, you know, you guys gotta watch out for like, yeah, there's all these like little tricks about like how people buy. I don't know if they're aware that they're doing it. And I wonder if I lie. I'm not aware that I'm doing it. You know. However I think about myself, I always think that I'm the mean. I always assume, like, I think it'd be awesome to, you know, get a gun, right? I think I'd like to walk around with a gun. I think it'd be sweet. But, you know, when you look at the statistic on guns, and it's like, you're most likely to shoot yourself, followed by, you know, a friend or family member. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably the mean, right? 
Like I said, that statistic applies to me, right? You know? So here we go, here we go, like here we go. I wonder about those things, right? People who are like, you can use this the other way too. Like people who are like scared of plane crash and they see someone die in a plane crash and you're like, you assume you have me. I'm like, no one dies in a plane crash. Um, see, and that's the worst part. You got a response anyway. And that, 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 that question got validation in the form of a response. And these are the great uh, Kafka traps. Kafka trap. Hmm. A sophisticated rhetorical device. No, this is not a Kafka trap, but. One of these things where like, you know, you can do something and then just by doing the thing, whether somebody opposes it or supports it, they're furthering your agenda. Some Jedi mind trick shit. Yeah, yeah, you know the thing. Uh, okay. We gotta figure out how to get the, either way, we gotta figure out how to get the things out of that. Um, so this is RLP header dot length minus 65. So RLP header dot length minus, well, okay, fine. We shall write the code. Extract bytes 32 from bytes solidity. I might be able to ABI decode that. assembly that's good uh, bytes 32v That's not exactly what I want. Um, okay, let's say add RLP header sub RLP header length 65. I want this as like an assembly variable. Oh, okay, I get it. So the message is going to be the hash of the uh, the thing. I don't even know what the hash is going to be. I don't know how we're going to find that because it's not the same normal block hash as used in the other bridge. This can't be because that includes extra data. The signed content is the kekak 256 of RLP encoded of the block header. <coughs> that can't be right because the block header includes the extra data. Yeah. 
Are you looking for keyboards? Yo. Time out. Luan Payne, thank you for gifting subs. <coughs> can analyze my cough. You get a question. If you have a question, please ask your question. I'd love to answer it for you. You can even ask about the keyboard if you gift subs to people. There's a lot, you know, this, 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 I'm not about like this party. Like you want lobster at the party and you're going to bribe me. I'm interested. Hipton, you didn't donate a lot of subs. Just like the people who give subs are really the best kind of people. And I'm genuinely interested in their questions. You gifted subs, Hipton? Where have you gifted subs? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. No real question. Awesome. See, that's they're good people, you know, good people gift subs. Two months in advance. Ooh, ooh, that's ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What is the extra data? <laughs> wow, with level three. Wow, the hype train's really going. Um, uh, guy with the rust hip. Then, if you actually gifted subs and I didn't answer your question, I feel terrible. And if I like rewatch this video and find out. I'll feel I'll feel really bad about myself, you know. So I'm, I'm I like to think of myself as an honest person who does what they say they're gonna do. George ISP two thousand one. That's a derailing question, and you're not even a subscriber. Um, isn't being a sub enough? Wow, wow. Yeah, it's enough for me to appreciate you, but not to answer your derailing questions. You gotta give subs for that. Routines, you're close to getting banned. I want to hear your, you know, real men shit. Mm. Oh, I hope they can get to the sub. Wow. Um, cheap eat is a scam. Um, but like all scams, it might be useful. Uh, pay up. All right. What do I think of Rust? I think Rust is really hard to code. And I don't think it's that useful, but 
I think they've built an ecosystem because people like that complexity. Like, like it's it, it's that nerd. This is hard to do, but I see what it is. It's not a productive programming language, but it is a makes you think programming language, and that's why Rust continues. Wow, we really got this hype train going. C++ is not a bad language as long as you don't use all of its features. And it, the syntax has become a lot better in, in the new C++'s. Mm. There's great food. Any other sub-gifters want to come forward? No, don't use exceptions in half of STL, pretty much. Rev and Trazer, is that a question? Did you gift subs? Oh, who is a gifted sub? Okay, I'll scroll up, I'll scroll up. Miser Alvarez, do you have a question? Ooh, updates on my university. Yo, real talk guys, I'm in escrow for 123 acres of land in the San Diego area. And it may very well be the home of my university. <laughs> the land is beautiful. It has a few issues. And if we get the issues fixed during the due diligence period, Ascarel will close. Oh, I have a name for it already. We got a lot figured out. Yeah, it's a university. It might happen. Hmm. I have a trailer park. Well, what's the difference between a trailer park and a university? Really, though, what's the difference? Um, what are the odds that compiles? Low. If you went to university instead of a trailer park, you might know. But I went to a trailer park. So not university. That's why I don't know. Land in California, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. You can actually just do add or LP at a start. Uh yeah, I, I made all the money dumping um dumping on the GME fools, jumping on dumping on the AMC fools by land. Oh, that doesn't work. GME is up again. Is AMC up? I still have some AMC. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sweet, dump an AMC tomorrow. How's my silver? Not up, go up. I don't understand. How do we have so much inflation yet silver is still so cheap? supported, eh? Can I log B at least? Zero. 
shouldn't be zero. Let's just try you and Woo, hype train success. Hipton, mm. I'll give you another question about books. The answer is, I don't know. Wait for Elect Friedman part three. <laughs> actually overrunning the land. Hmm. I gotta do that and then I can put you into A there and it works. Uh, no, I was kidding. There's no actual Lex Friedman Park, right? Two chains line. Mm -hmm. My ice is cold, colder than February. The day you could fuck with me, that would be Nevuary. Mmm. Famous six. Thank you for gifting a sub. Do you have a question? I have a question. That shouldn't be zero. Why is it zero? in hex. Okay, that's CA. So where is that CA crap? This should end with 9C, I think. No. Okay, I did something wrong. Sixty-five. That should be right. Log the whole thing. Mainline assembly not good. Yep. We're eating chips with pasta sauce. Savage food. For a savage afternoon. CF, EF. Okay, so that's actually there. That actually might be the right place, though. So hang on. Let's see how long this is. 110. 55. Okay, no, that's not the right place. It's probably that. No. Slightly off. That really doesn't make any sense. <coughs> oh, why did I do RLP header dot length? I want extra data dot length. Famous gifter. Oh wow, you have a little thing next to your name if you gifted a sub. I see. Do you have a question? Wow. Yeah. 
She's not one she does look like it does end with zero. This should end with fold if I did it right. Does it end with fold? No, it doesn't. And I was pretty confident in that too. D8. Hmm. No, that's not right. Because that's just the beginning there. Sig equals add extra data start. That's all of extra data printed from the thing. All right. So now when I look at the hex of this, how come it's that? B7. Where's B7 here? So does this start with 2e? It does. Okay. So that add isn't working for some reason. Is extra data all length wrong? Stupid console.log as well. Okay, we get 97 for extra data about length. Oh, so that's not wrong. <coughs> 32. Alright. Mm, I don't know. Can we not add it for some reason? Sig equals add extra data start. So when I am load, what if I straight up type that? Add extra data 32, what do I get? Or do I want to add 32 already because it like reads it weirdly? That. I wonder if I put 64 here. I don't understand how M load works. Let's do plus 32. Oh, because of the length storage. I think I do have to add 32. give you money. Why would I give you money? You're always eating, man. Chill out. Alright. That's right. junk. Don't need any of that. I just need to figure out how to actually create the signature of that thing. Oh, famous question has been posted. LMAO OFC XD. Good troll. <laughs> Can you crunch louder? My mom in the next state can't hear it. Yeah, we're just gonna eat and chill, man. Mm. This is really a savage lunch. Wait, this is his question? 
Are you trying to steal a question? Are you trying to impersonate somebody else and steal a question? No, I don't, 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 don't start me with, don't get me started on Drake. Yo, some people, man, some people, you know, we are just savages. That's the most savage thing I've seen all street. And we're making some pasta. Let's make a couple more cheddar. Oh, we have ramen water. Out the ramen water, get ready for some more shit. I'm hungry, I didn't eat much today, I worked out. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna have any pasta sauce in this archetti because I just ate pasta sauce on chips and I can't stomach any more pasta sauce. We're just gonna put a little olive oil, a little pepper. Oh, I think it's gonna be delicious, boys. I think it's gonna be delicious. Can we listen to Drake? No, because Drake's copyrighted. Even though it's shitty music, it's copyrighted. Wait, that is a one. How come that didn't work? Never. No. V. I'm not dealing with this. I'm just doing this. Do I need semicolons and solidity assembly? No. <coughs> that should be a one. Do you not see the one? Mm. It should be a one. How come it's not a one? B4, then zero, 01. Oh, because, hmm. All right, let's be a little smarter about this. I think we can use little v, but I think we have to say 33. Actually, the 64 byte. Sweet, we got a one. You see, when this is a one, that has to be a one. When that's a zero, that has to be a zero. That was my question, but I still think he deserves to get banned just to make sure. I'm confused about all this. And I have an idea. I think what we should do, instead of answering Famous's question, we should, uh... Wait, I'm trying to figure out. Gerbly J? Where is this question? I don't see where this question's posted. Multiple people said that, so I'm not gonna ban anybody. I don't know. No one's getting banned. Famous Nine is the real savage, and you don't get a question now? You know, the question's not irrevocable. You don't get a question now because you spent a lot of my time investigating um, Question Gate, and uh, Question Gate took a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> banana. <laughs> you just got bananaed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like we're just banning a lot of people and just banana, you know? Yo, you can't spell banana without ban. <laughs> K 
can't spell banana without ban. Uh, okay. Finance smart chain light node. Did anyone write one of these? Node binary. Light node. Prod. 063. Linux. Wait, nope. Where's the was the was the code for this? The last thing I want to do is download some Binance binaries that run the node. Wait, is this not open source? Red Jazz Cat, you gifted subs, and I see your question there. Is that the question you want? How do you decide when to use a library versus building your own library? Whenever you can steal code from other people, steal code from other people. Every time I decide to write my own library, I regret that decision and should have spent more time reading code and less time writing code. Or Chetty. I think I've been eating looks like pasta. Ramen's pasta, chips is pasta. It's all pasta. Wish I had some meat, you know? Water, that's not pasta. Oh, spin trap. Oh, that's what I really want. Oh, spin Yeah, buddy. Yo, I walked 24 miles this weekend, and my core hurts. Lana Lux, welcome. Good to see you around. Mm. Oh, it's open source. No, no, but... So I think that thing that you just linked to is the Go Ethereum. Or maybe it is the same thing. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. Gonna see if we can make this work. We're gonna sync to the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, to achieve the cross-chain communication, we need on-chain. Huh. What's Tendermint? Oh, you raided. Oh. Oh, I didn't understand. Yo, I don't know how to do this. 217 people. Great. Welcome, new people. All right. In honor of the new people, we will do a recap of what we've been doing. So my name is George. Um, I am the lead developer for this project, Cheap ETH. And if you guys know Ethereum, uh, Cheap ETH and Ethereum are very similar, except Cheap ETH is 1,000x cheaper. It's actually trading on exchanges almost 10,000x cheaper right now. And you can see that right here in my wallet, I have 33,000 Cheap ETH. Now, to be fair, this is a lot of Cheap ETH, but you can get some uh, if you want to play Cheap ETH too. You just go to cheapeth.org. Um, you can click this beautiful button. I'm already on the Cheap ETH chain, but if I were not, this would pop up a thing and I can add Cheap ETH to my MetaMask. So you'll see here, these are the different networks I have. There's Ethereum mainnet, there's a whole bunch of stupid test networks, and then there's Cheap ETH, which is a great Ethereum chain that you can use. Now, what we've been working on in this stream is we've been trying to bridge. So we built a bridge to bridge Cheap ETH to other... Uh, proof-of-work Ethereum chains. So Ethereum is a proof-of-work Ethereum chain. Um, this can bridge the main Ethereum chain into the cheap ETH chain. One of the problems with the main Ethereum chain is it's too expensive. Everything on Ethereum costs like $20 for transaction. So there are other Ethereum chains, which you'll see down here like this one called Smart Chain. Smart Chain is Binance Smart Chain. Binance is an exchange, 
and they ran their own proof of authority Ethereum network called Binance Smart Chain. And what we're building in this stream is a bridge to connect Binance Smart Chain to Cheap ETH so that when people on Binance Smart Chain send money to a special address, they'll be able to claim their money on Cheap ETH. What does the bridge do? The bridge relays state in a secure way. Mm. Is this useful? Client. Uh, get block. What code was I even looking for here? I was looking for what actually validates the transaction. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the Ethereum stuff's written in Go. The client for cheap ETH is written in Go. The people are working on a Rust version of it. Maybe we could do that stream if they don't uh, come across with it. But so what the bridge does is it puts the state. So this is the bridge to Binance, and you're going to be able to call this function get block by number. And it's a trusted function that returns the state of Binance Smart Chain on Cheap ETH. Um, then you can write consumers of these bridge contracts. So I've written one already called bridge sale. Br the bridge sale uses the state from a bridge to validate send transactions on the bridge chain. So if you send to a known address, uh, that address right down here is the uh, the dep. I shouldn't call it dep. I should call it deposit address. Well, it's the deposit address. Um, if you put in a deposit address there, uh, you can validate if transactions were sent to that address on the other chain and then you can have it actually send value out to that user. Um, yeah, so what this is gonna let you do is if you have money on the Binance chain, you're gonna be able to send it to the cheap Ethereum chain. You're also gonna be able to send money from the Ethereum chain to the cheap Ethereum chain as well. Uh, one of the caveats here is sending it back is a whole lot harder because we have to make the cheap ETH chain secure against 51% attacks, which we will do in another stream. What if someone hacks the bridge? Well, you can't hack the bridge. Um, so if you'll read this bridge contract here, this is the block submission endpoint called here submit header. This is public. There is nothing, when you deploy the bridge, we don't even save the owner address. There's no only owners anywhere in this contract. So this bridge is completely decentralized and anyone can interact with it, which means two things. One, there's no special privileged authority to hack. There's also no pre special privileged authority to submit, so there's no censorship, right? Anybody can run this bridge and use it. Doesn't it cost to send cross-chain? Well, we're gonna build the cheapest cross-chain solutions in the world because we love cheap. Cheap is the cheapy philosophy. Uh, I explained for the new people who Lana Lux brought around, I wanna be a good raid host, and I wanna explain to the new people what I'm doing. My name is George. I like programming. Uh, I like sunsets. I like long walks on the beach. Um, and I like Spindrift, which don't sponsor me, but should. So what we're trying to figure out now um, in the bridge Binance contract, this is function EC recover. So we've extracted the signature from the contract, uh, but we have to figure out what we're going to hash uh, for the message so we can see what address it was sent from. They said the message signed is the RLP encoded uh, block header, but it kind of can't be that because that includes the extra data. Uh, so there's like a bug in their documentation. Just something just doesn't make sense. Um, so I've been looking through, I'm not gonna find it here though. I think the only place to find it is in the validator code. <laughs> I'm 
I assume is here. There's an intro to this channel. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, so we're trying to, you know, we're trying to solve a problem right now. Uh, I don't prepare at all for these streams. We have to just do it. And you guys are all part of the struggle with me. We all struggle together. And at the end, hopefully, we all get redemption from our struggle. And by watching this stream, you can be a part of that struggle. And you can feel the same glory. It's like watching streamers for video games who are like trying to do speed runs when they get it. You feel part of that too. And that's what I want you guys to feel once we solve these problems. Um, we are here for the struggle. It's true. Okay. All right. I just Let's read the documentation again and see if they can... The signed content is the Kekak 256 of RLP encoded of the block header. So first off, that's not a sentence. Verify header. Verify the signature of the Coinbase is in extra data. The Coinbase should be the sign. Oh, the Coinbase, eh? Well, that's not exactly what we want, but at least it's something. That's clever. The difficulty should be expected value. Hmm, okay. Well, good. Good thing we read this. Uh, you see what I'm saying? The coin base is where the money is sent to, for the miner and block. So that's the validator. We can check if they're a validator. We're also eating pasta. Let me get my colander out. I'm gonna put it in the bowl with the sauce, just so we don't have to wash two bowls. But it's really just gonna be olive oil and pepper. And a little salt too, a little salt to these guys. You know, I, I should have a webcam over here so you can switch to cooking cam. You know, that really increased my stream quality. into that. <clears throat> yeah, so Cheapy is a fork chain. Uh, Cheapy is a fork of the Ethereum chain at uh, this block. So uh, I should really make that clear on the website. Um, and then we'll just add a little documentation for that. Oh, and did roulette show up on the website? Sweet. Cheap beef is a fork of the main Ethereum chain. Two enters in there. And we'll get rid of that 
the period because the period is gross. Vice versa. Um, right now, Cheap ETH is listed on an exchange. It's a centralized, just normal crypto exchange. Um, and you can swap your ETH and Cheap ETH. Um, cheap ETH is cheap. Uh, cheap ETH also has a pre mine uh, for dumping on speculators, which means I have a whole lot of Cheap ETH if anybody comes in to speculate. So it's not a good speculative asset. Um, like, by speculate, I mean if you think, oh, I'm hearing about this, I'm getting in early, I expect to buy cheap ETH and I expect the value to go up. Uh, that's a really stupid expectation. It has cheap in the name. So, um, if you buy cheap ETH, you can buy cheap ETH for loving, you can buy cheap ETH for using, but don't buy cheap ETH for speculating. The speculators are a cancer. That's a tax on everybody, right? If you think about a speculator, a speculator is somebody who buys at one price, who doesn't actually want to use the asset, but just wants to sell that asset to somebody else at a higher price. All that is is a tax on the system. All they do is make everything more expensive. You do not want speculators. Any more questions about cheap ETH? <laughs> Someone ban him for one small comment about Dogecoin. I think that's okay. <laughs> Speculation is middlemanism at its finest. Let's show. All right, I have to take the bait. What'd you go to jail for? <laughs> oh, we we're gonna print the block. Yeah. No, they are speculators, and you do not want speculators. Speculators are terrible people ruining the economy. Right? Like the housing crisis, whose fault was that? Speculators. Now, there is a way that we could have responsible investment. Um, like debt-based investment is usually responsible, right? If you take out a loan and agree on an interest rate, that's responsible. Um, because there's no unlimited upside. Speculation happens, I believe, when there's unlimited upside. Like, it's fine to speculate. Like, like, like prediction markets, I think, are great. If you're talking about, like, a yes outcome and a no outcome, that's the exact kind of speculation that we want. But we don't want, specu we want, don't want unbounded speculation. Yeah, most recessions and depressions are caused by speculators. I know. And like, I don't know why we still tolerate these people. It's because rich people are speculators and rich people write all the laws. I would love to kick speculators out of the economy entirely. Um, you can think of cheap ETH. Cheap ETH is maybe the um, Bitcoin cash. You know what? I will write that note. We are the Bitcoin Cash of Ethereum. Um, I won't say that. That's a little too pretentious. I'm just going to say... Uh, think Bitcoin Cash. Did I do the capitalization of that right? Think Bitcoin Cash... Yo, I got that Bitcoin cash, but for Ethereum. 
but for ETH instead of Bitcoin. What is <coughs> cheap? Better. Got to work on the copy. Got to make the copy good. Oh, it's not a good sale point. Exactly. I'm not trying to sell it because, nope, fuck speculator. Goku wrote this poem, and I love this poem. Goku sent me this, and I'm like, bro, that's brilliant. One day speculator will buy all the air, not to breathe, only for hodl, and everyone will suffocate. And finally, speculator will be sad. You guys understand the poem? Should I put that above the fold? What is cheap ETH? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine, fine. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna work hard. Get ready for working hard. Uh, users, Taylor, fun. I gotta write copy. I gotta bring new people into the cheap ETH community. Let's put it above the fold. get cheapy that's what that used to say and then here we'll just have a um a section up here um what is cheapy all right we should we should tell people what it is i don't want to be like those projects that i criticize where the money is cheap, the transactions are fast, and the party is still going. The money is cheap, the transactions are fast, and the party is still going. That sounds nice. What do you guys think? You like my copy? Should we put a link to Bitcoin Cash? Yo, I got that Bitcoin Cash. Wow, look, we wrote copy to explain things to people. Look at that. Oh, only four pastas left. That one wasn't even, that was two and a half, more than a whole pasta. To be fair, we should include a link to Ethereum as well. Just so we can be fair. Since we did rip off all this shit. <coughs> Does this website do a good job explaining Ethereum? Mm, yeah, not too bad. Does this do a good job explaining Bitcoin Cash? The best money in the world! Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. We are inviting to new people. Yeah, remember when we did that? That was during the last, I'm, I'm a crypto, you know, when crypto's up, I'm, I do crypto streams when crypto's down. I don't care about crypto. I'm one of those. I'm a fair weather crypto fan. Mm. Needs more emojis and baseless AI claims. We still have the same EC recover problem. I did some hacks on it last time, but I feel like I can't do the same hacks again. All right, we'll just copy the crap and let the sell contract, fine. Really? I have to write all this? Ugh. I'm gonna have to extract the extra data and like the mixed data and the nonce. It's not called the Coinbase, it's called the miner. I need to get that too. Oh no, this might be a two part video. I think it's nap time. Ate that pasta, I think it's time to take a nap. Um, all right, let's just make sure all the tests are passing. Oh yeah, I was playing with Dockers this morning. <coughs> oh, it's too much printing. Look at this, I love this. I love who wrote this to this, this beautiful gas checker. All right. Start work on the Binance Bridge. Um, you know what? I'm gonna leave this as a challenge to you guys. Who can figure it out, right? I'll write a little bit more code now. I just like, it's just so boring like to figure out. Oh, you gotta get the message to work. Okay. So, um, let's, we can also say address minor, put that at the end here, uh, the address. I'll leave it as a challenge to you and I'll be very happy with whoever does it. Um, so EC recover now is called <coughs> uh, with a message. So I'm gonna say, for now we're just gonna say bytes 32 equal message equal Signed message equals kekak 256. We'll just say that to do extract the correct part of the block header for this. And then we're going to EC recover signed message address signer. Um, we want to require. Uh, signer is minor, uh, not signed by minor, and then we also want to require 
to do require my, uh, signer is in current validator set. But actually, even just to make that work is going to be a challenge. And that is the challenge that I'm leaving to you guys. While I take a nap, and if you guys come through, I'll be like, wow, I have a great audience. And if you guys don't come through, I'll be like, ugh. So these are reverting with not signed by minor, and that's because this code here is wrong. And to whoever fixes it, I will appreciate you. You have to fix what's on line 63 to get the right part of the block header. I believe in you. And now it's returning zero. It should not return zero. Um, just for fun. Let's actually also, can I do a comma here? Let's make sure the minor is in the validator set. Because it should be. So that we can actually check. In the value set. Okay, we can we can we can just write that. Um, to loop through the validators. Gross. Disgusting O of N algorithm.
Okay. Those things work okay, but not signed by minor. Great. Uh, finance, smart bridge, fix, EC, recover. Let's say finish. Thank you all for watching my stream today. Uh, no, I'm tired. I'm taking a nap. I'm taking a nap and I got things to do. Mix it around and read. Um, you guys can do it. I believe in you. Finish EC recover. This, this whole thing needs better documentation too. Um, I think when this is done, it's going to be some of the cleanest uh, Ethereum bridge code that there is, at least like the simplest. And you'll be able to conceptually just get it so easily. Um, yeah, and we'll be able to make these things work. And then, oh, we gotta write the whole um, we're gonna write basically checkpointing, I think. Uh, and we're just gonna use checkpointing. It looks like Binance is doing this every epoch block. My hope is by writing this Binance bridge, we're gonna understand how Binance Smart Chain is doing it. And then we're gonna do something pretty similar. Like we're gonna have a validator set uh, of people that we trust. And those people are gonna be able to validate the, the state. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be every 200. That might be a little much but they're gonna validate the state of cheap ETH and then that's the canonical state of cheap ETH and I'll modify the Go Ethereum to read from that contract to make sure that's right. What are the three most interesting? So I'll just stop at your question there and direct you to this website I know called Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed loves listicles. You are asking for a listicle. Uh, so no, like a listicle is never a good question. I don't know. Who cares what's interesting to me? Who cares about my opinion? Right? Like I have opinions, but I don't really care about them. You know? Like my opinions are worthless mostly. Well, okay, actually I shouldn't say that. When you have an opinion and you back it up with like like a thought process behind it, opinions can be interesting. But a lot of people just have opinions and they aren't really backed up by anything. And I'm like, yo, I mean, my opinion is worthless. Thank you all for watching. Have a good afternoon, everybody. And write my code for me so I don't have to. Thank you, bye bye. Love your comment. Top one Ethereum forks in 2021. Number one will shock you. CheapEath.org. Join the movement. Get some cheap ETH before it all runs out. Just kidding. It's cheap. There'll be plenty of it forever. Don't fucking speculate. Bye-bye.